hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to study mitosis so let's start the video mitosis is the process of cell division that occurs in eukaryotic organisms it's responsible for the growth development and maintenance of tissues in multicellular organisms mitosis consists of several distinct states each with its own characteristics and events Let's go through them in detail. The first stage is interphase, as you can see from the image and text as well. Before mitosis, the cell undergoes a period of growth and preparation stage called interphase. Interphase can be further divided into three phases. G1, that's also known as gap 1, S, which is synthesis, and G2, which is gap 2. In G1 phase, the cell grows in size, synthesizes proteins, and carries out its normal metabolic functions. The cell prepares for DNA replication. In S phase, DNA replication occurs. The genetic material, chromosomes, is duplicated, resulting in two identical copies called sister chromatids. Each with chromatid is held together at a region called the centromere. In G2 phase, following the DNA replication, the cell continues to grow and prepare for cell division. It synthesizes necessary proteins, organelles, and cellular components required for the upcoming mitotic process. So we have prophase here. This is the first stage of mitosis. During prophase, several chains occur. Okay, our several significant changes take place. First of all, chromosome condensation occurs. The duplicated chromosomes condense and become visible under a microscope. They become tightly coiled and compact, facilitating their movement during subsequent stages. Then, nuclear envelope breakdown. The nuclear envelope which surrounds the nucleus disintegrates, allowing the chromosomes to interact with the cellular machinery. Then, spindle formation. Protein structures called spindle fibers or microtubules begin to form. They extend from two opposite poles of the cell and will play a crucial role in separating the chromosomes, as you can see from the image. Then, we have metaphase. During metaphase, the condensed chromosomes align at the center of the cell, forming a plane called the metaphase, metaphase plate. The spindle fibers attach to the centromeres of the chromosomes, creating tension and ensuring proper alignment. Then, we have anaphase. Anaphase is characterized by the separation of sister chromatids. The spindle fibers contract pulling the sister chromatids apart towards opposite poles of the cell. Once separated, each chromatid is considered an individual chromosome. After anaphase, we have one more stage that's known as telophase. In telophase, the separated chromosomes reach the opposite poles of the cell. The spindle fibers disassemble, and new nuclear envelopes start forming around each set of chromosomes effectively creating two distinct nuclei. At last we have cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is the final stage of cell division where the cytoplasm of the parent cell is divided to form two daughter cells. In animal cells, a cleavage flow forms and the cell membrane pins inward, eventually leading to the separation of cells. In plant cells, a cell plate forms in the middle and gradually develops into a new cell wall, dividing the cytoplasm. After cytokinesis, the two daughter cells called interphase and continue with their respective cellular activities until they are ready to undergo mitosis again. These stages, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase and cytokinesis constitute the process of mitosis. Through mitosis, cells can reproduce, de repair damaged tissues and contribute to growth and development in multicellular organisms.
Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.